Hi dear friends one of my viewer asked me that should i apply another layer of bonding agent and already applied uh, bonding agent which is cured and i remembered my days uh, of being a student is that we never ask the question is why you have to how can you actually cure a composite and then apply another uncured composite on that so what i basically saying here is that you have one composite one layer of composite and you cured it and then you are placing another layer of the composite over this already cured composite so the question here we have to ask is that how this is possible and this is not just in the composite even the bonding agent what you have applied you cure it and then you place a composite over this so how is that possible that you uh, you can apply another resin on already cured resin and that's what we are going to discuss today and that answer lies in this property of a composite and that is called as oxygen inhibited layer which is also called as air inhibited layer and this is really important because without this you will never be able to do a incremental layer in light cure composite and even in chemical cure composite especially when you are reading the disadvantages of chemically cured composite you will hear that or you will read that one point where it is mentioned that during mixing the oxygen can get entrapped in this mix and that can inhibit the composite curing and i never wondered as a student what is the meaning of this inhibition and when i did my post graduation i realized that this property is very benefit beneficial which allows you to do a incremental layer in light cure composite so it has both it has role both in the chemically cured composite and it also has a role in the light cure composite and that's i will try to explain it in a very brief way see for example when you place a layer of composite over the tooth after application of bonding agent you think it is cured completely but it is not there is a top layer there is a top layer which is still uncured even though the light is passing in that area and you may ask me how is that possible and that question is really interesting and the answer lies in the chemistry of the composite you should watch my video on dental composite where i have very uh, in a simple way i have explained you that basically the composites are monomers they are filled monomers which convert to a polymer so two monomers joining or two or more monomers joining into many long chain and a three dimensional structure gives us the composite final structure but for polymerization you need free radical and when the increment of composite that is light cure is exposed to the air that last layer of composite doesn't get enough free radical because that oxygen is going to prevent the formation of free radical on the top portion of already placed increment because that is in direct contact with the air so that leads to inhibition of the polymerization just on the top layer giving us a uncured layer of composite and that layer is called as oxygen inhibited layer and that is helpful as i already mentioned the problem with this oxygen inhibited layer are many but as i said without this oxygen inhibited layer you cannot bond a composite 
टू ऑलरेडी क्योर्ड बॉन्डिंग एजेंट और यू कैन नॉट डू इंक्रीमेंटल बॉन्डिंग टेक्निक सो दिस इज वेरी एसेंशियल फॉर द कंपोजिट बॉन्डिंग बट इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज गुड एंड द रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल दिस लास्ट लेयर ऑफ कंपोजिट विच मे बी रिमेनिंग आफ्टर यू हैव बिल्ड अप द रिस्टोरेशन कंप्लीटली द लास्ट लेयर विल स्टिल बी इनिबिटेड बाय द एयर and this is not good for the composite because it is sticky and it can stain that's why you have to do a finishing and polishing with the burr in order to remove this last layer of oxygen inhibited composite but the problem here is that when you try to trim it with a burr this sticky oxygen inhibited layer can harm your burr because it will get entangled you know it will stay in that burr inside the diamond points that will reduce the efficiency of the burr and the life of the burr so how do you prevent this is there any alternative yes there is an alternative and if you have ever seen people doing composites by placing a layer of glycerin or some books does mention vaseline or any other material which can cover the last layer and still be transparent so that your curing light passes through it and cures the last layer of composite but the last layer of composite because of the glycerin is not exposed to the air and that's why when you cure the composite through glycerin you are preventing the formation of oxygen inhibited layer but the last increment will definitely cure and that's why the glycerin is used to prevent the oxygen inhibited layer on the last increment of the composite routinely and that can help you to give get a better composite restoration i hope this video was helpful to you please do check the playlist on aspire 32 if you have any questions please do mention in the comment section i will see you once again with one more video on aspire 32 very soon bye for now